Lisa Ann, one of my childhood heroes, known for her oversized breasts and love for a certain male ornament. She got me through some of the hardest moments in my life from finding out what a boner was to having my first tug of war session. She's been through the thick of it and I she's been through the thick of it and I don't think she gets enough accolades from the community from the community as a legend of the game that she so rightfully deserves. In the comments, let me know your favourite Lisa Ann moment, one that really stands out and makes you want to salute the American flag because that's what this woman does to us she inspires each and every one of us patriotism togetherness looking at lisa ran makes me want to link arms with my homies and sip a cold one i'm sure you're in pretty similar boat please let me know how she's helped you shape you into the man or woman you are today i know she was big part of my childhood i could almost envision her at the table around christmas time singing and laughing away i'm sure you have similar visions too so when i see such a treasured hero someone who's an icon treated to that simile of of murderers and arpists. My heart melts and so slowly crumbles away. I turn violent and want to run into my local supermarket and buy an AK-47 and RPG and go show these pigs who they are really messing with. This person I would consider that of a national hero has been manhandled, fondled by some of New York finest as she went on her phone during a comedy gig where she saw one of her friends, Matt Rife, apparently. She has been arrested. This woman who's had such an impact on us. I mean, look at her, the way she's fondled and manhandled. Someone who's had such an impact on us can be treated so poorly. I mean, look, tonight I was arrested and harassed by NYPD. They offered me a choice. 5150 by an ambulance and admitted to the hospital or arrested and put in a jail over someone thinking I used my phone during the show. I'm at a loss for words. I just endured traumatic, unnecessary and extreme are topping off the list of my emotions. Now, she might not be the most clever individual, but she sure as shit has got some big words thrown in there. You just said you I did nothing wrong. You just said I didn't touch my phone. I wanted to see Matt, right? Okay. You see, he's a friend of mine. And I go to jail. As you can just see, poor Lisa, because we are on a first-term basis, I feel like I know this woman inside and out. Ew. Oh dear, didn't mean it like that. She got treated, disrespected by New York's finest. Spider-Man would be disappointed. Peter Parker would even be intervening at this moment and say, Don't worry, Lisa, I'll save you. I will protect you from these corrupt individuals. It's truly sad. It's truly heartbreaking to see one of my childhood icons absolutely treated so poorly. Look at her account these days. She even has a podcast. I'm sure you have many, many episodes downloaded to your phone. Travel, lifestyle, sport. What shit is she talking about? You know what I mean? Horse manure. She's actually written two books. Two times author. You know, oh, the account got taken down. Two times author. Okay. Sports, fitness and recreation. I mean, that's one way of putting it. For Janelle. One thing I wanted to show you guys, though, is this incredible video of her talking about how she just picks up men like they're apples in the supermarket. Honestly, watch this and try not to be jealous you've not been lucky enough. Her life was consumed with sex. You know, I had security on the road. If I met, I met a guy at a club, my security would walk him up to my room, time him. Like, I could f any random I dude I want. Him. I, thought, I like, just didn't want anybody staying shit. over over. Time him. Imagine. <laughs> That yet. Yo, your 30 seconds is up, dog. It's like you're one pump and done. Come on, get out of here. What you playing at? Are you killing her? Saying they're well, these guys could have murdered me, right? Stopping that and then having to go out and find my own sex was very different for me. And that wasn't until my late 40s where the first time where I was like, oh, I have to go out and meet people. Every night I'm on stage, I would just look at my roadie and I'd be like, mm mm, that guy right there, mm hmm, that's oh, guy I'm fucking saying. You're on my some security dude. Jesus Christ. I mean, imagine if a man spoke like this. Like, yeah, that woman right there, I'm fucking her right there. I mean, he would be arrested, he'd be cancelled, and rightly so, because it sounds horrible and wrong. But Lisa Ann gets away with it because she's a childhood hero. She's one of our icons. We look up to this woman like she's the Queen of England, RIP. She is honestly a legend of humanity. She's conquered it all. Conquered it all. Black, white, Hispanic, whatever else. Aliens, I'm sure she's boned a few of them. Dude would just walk yeah. over and be like, she Dude, wants to Jerry fuck girl. you tonight. Are you good? Call out of work, whatever you might be doing after this, you know? You'll get your time with her, and that would be it. I would not talk to the guy. God, that's absolutely absurd. She would just point and go, look, Lisa, wants to, you are the chosen one. You will carry the ring up to Mount Doom. You are the one that shall see the holy grail that is Lisa Ann. Crazy, isn't it? Absolutely batshit nuts. Lisa Ann, obviously, like I mentioned before, someone I look up to, inspire. Someone I'd want to have a beer with or, you know, maybe something even better. Look at this. Look at her. Even arrested. She's so damn fine. These police officers love it. they like, 
oh my god, I can't tell you how many times I touched my wiener in front of you while you were on the screen. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is actually kind of like my childhood dream come true. I've always wanted to arrest you. She said she never touched my phone. Handcuffs and ambulance visit were a bit extreme. I can't believe she was handcuffed as well for filming. That's cray cray. You know what I mean? She she is a bit older now. She's somewhat like, she must be 50. I can't believe she was arrested though. That's hilarious. So I was dragged off Matt Wright's show tonight in handcuffs saying I was using my phone. I had not used my phone. I was just joining the show. 45 minutes in handcuffs, sent to an ambulance and released. So she got out easy peasy. Why was she sent to an ambulance? I feel like that's a waste of resources. You know, she, she was on her phone. She didn't chip her fucking nails. Look, here's the book you all want to read for more from lost to less is more. That's not English. I can't lie to you. But yeah, M-I-L-F, the life. Playing pal in my love of sports and living to the fullest on my own terms. That's one way of putting it, isn't it? The moaning Lisa. Yeah, look, I'm really just wanted to say this is hilarious, guys. What do you guys think? Is your childhood hero, your icon, your person you look up to being destroyed by the New York, New York, New York Police Department? I hope this can only inspire her to write another book on all the large penises she's taken up. But anyway, enough of that. I'm going to go uh, play Halo Reach. I'm actually playing Halo Reach. What are you guys playing at the moment? It's actually, I used to love Halo Reach, but yeah. Anyway, good night, God bless, and uh, good luck, lads.